Good morning. Sergeant Major Retired Breckenridge, Command Sergeant Major Bennett, Command Sergeant Major Costin, Command Sergeant Major Niger, Command Sergeant Major DeSanto, and Lieutenant Colonel Blair. Commanders, Sergeants Major, and distinguished guests, welcome to the change of responsibility ceremony for Echo Company 71st Military Police Battalion. The change of responsibility is a simple traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. Today, responsibilities for the training and welfare of the soldiers will pass from First Sergeant John T. Andrews to Sergeant Class Ismail Orozco. The host for today's ceremony is Lieutenant Colonel Bright, the commander of the 71st Military Police Battalion. At this time, Drill Sergeant Schofield is presenting First Sergeant Andrews' wife, Amy, with the Civil Red Rose. Thank you for all your support and devotion to the soldiers and families of Echo Company. Red Roses signify the bonds of loyalty and affection between soldiers and families, and to signify our sorrows at the departure of the evening organization. <laughs> Please refer to the program for complete biographies for the incoming and outgoing first sergeants. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the invocation given by Captain Hall and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. If you pray, Lord. <clears throat> Father, we give you thanks for this Enforcer Company 701st change of responsibility. We thank you so much for the faithful service rendered by First Sergeant Embrace during his time and responsibility. Thank you for his selfless service, his hard work, and people foundation that he set as a standard within the company. Continue to encourage him and empower him as his family shift their focus and energies to other things. We ask also that you'll be with First Sergeant Orozco as he assumes responsibility today. Bless him as he seeks to be an inspiration to the soldiers and families of Echo Company. Strengthen First Sergeant, encourage him and empower him to lead as you would have him. In your name, as we pray, as we assist by example, amen. amen. Sergeant Class Ismail Orozco. 
the commander of troops, the senior drill sergeant, Sergeant Travis Segre. Company Commander Captain Cackney will now oversee the transfer of responsibility. Moving forward to execute the change of responsibility are Captain Cackney, the Commander of Captain Company, First Sergeant Ambrys, the outgoing First Sergeant, and Sergeant Class Roscoe, the incoming First Sergeant. Throughout military history, unit colors have marked the location of the commander on the battlefield and have served as a rallying point. In more recent times, the colors have come to symbolize the authority of command and responsibility. The key to the ceremony is the passing of the unit's god on. The god on represents not only the lineage and honor of the unit, but also the loyalty and unity of the soldiers. The god on is the first sergeant symbol of authority, representing his responsibilities to the organization. Where the first sergeant is, there is also the god on. The passing of the god on symbolizes the transfer of responsibility from the old first sergeant to the new. The passing of the god on demonstrates that the soldiers of the unit the outgoing first sergeant has passed the mantle of leadership to the new first sergeant, and with this also passes the loyalty of the soldiers to the new first sergeant. First sergeant members receives the company god from the commander of troops and final deference of his authority and leadership. First sergeant members passes the god to the company commander, signifying that he is relinquishing his duties and gratitude for the opportunity to care for the company's fine soldiers. The company commander passes the god to some first class of Roscoe delegating authority and entrusting him with the responsibility and care of the unit. Sergeant Class of Roscoe passes the guide on back to the commander of troops, symbolizing his dedication to the soldiers of Echo Company and the continuity of the NCS Force Channel. The first arms are changed positions, signifying the responsibility of the first arms in place with the first arms and reason, Sergeant Class of Roscoe. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Beverly Company, 71st Military Police Battalion, Captain Cadmus. Good morning, Command Sergeant Major Knifer, Lieutenant Colonel Bright, Command Sergeant Major, distinguished guests, and friends of Knifer Company. Those of you who know me know that I'm not much of a talker, but this morning I'll have to make an exception. On the other hand, if you know Matt Sergeant Embrys, you can bet good money that he'll go over this a lot of time and make up the money. Although I'm not one to give a lengthy speech, it's difficult to keep it short when talking about the six months that I've worked with personally, now I'm not so nervous. As a recent transfer from the Marine Corps, I didn't really know what to expect from taking command. What my first experience in the Army was going to be like, customs and courtesies for the Army, which you may need, I'm still trying to have done, Day to day operations and what the relationship was supposed to be like between a commander and a person. Lucky for me, the higher powers paired me up with First Sergeant Andrews, who was very quick to lean in and say things like, Sir, this isn't the Marine Corps. We don't do it that way. Or, Sir, your drone ceremony is all jacked up. It must be a Marine Corps. While joking aside, I was fortunate to have you there coaching me as my senior enlisted advisor because I learned a lot. And at the end of the day, the commander and the first sergeant make up a command team. Having someone willing to operate within that team makes the job that much easier. And honestly, gave me a good grasp on what the Army is all about. The willingness to put in the work and put everything you have into the welfare of the unit is a true testament to your character. The huge reason the company is where it is today and has had the successes that it's had. Anyone who has worked with you can attest to that. Sometimes to a fault. There's been times when I've had to pester them just to get out of, the, out of the office and out of the building to take a break. Sometimes putting a lot more on his plate than was expected. Day to day job as a company first sergeant, starting on a monthly club, president of volunteer service, middle liaison, civilian education, being a husband, and the list goes on and on. But it was still always available to the soldiers and made the mission happen. We've had some times, good times hard times, and sometimes when we didn't agree with one another. But all in all, it was a pleasure working with you, even though you refused to work with the office lights on. And you're hearing this, you'll drop our phone conversations. I have no doubt that you will continue to succeed in your career, 
and I wish you the best of luck. Don't be a stranger and keep in touch. Our professor also. I'm excited to work with you, and I want to welcome you and your family to the team. You've got big boots to fill, but from a couple of weeks you've been here already, I can tell you'll have no problem whatsoever stepping in and taking off this drive. You're coming in at the right moment, at the end of the cycle, and we'll get to set the tempo and the expectations for the next show together. Once again, welcome to the team, and I feel like working on you. Assist, protect, defend, forge the regiment, assist by example, and force it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the former first Army Federal Company, some of the first military police battalion, that's our name.
but a culture we established was that although there was only so much time in the day, there would be no excuse to discontinue self-development. My category refused to leave here with just two years on the trail to show for. Some of their outside drill accomplishments included two representatives applied to D.C. to meet with the sergeant major of the Army in their efforts as the best officer of the military police corps, and raising the most money for AER of a medium sized installation, six presidential volunteer service medals from the Honorable President Joe Biden, two Audi Murphy Club inductees, two Order of the Marche two Mr. Reporter winners, three brigade winners, eight battalion winners, one ESD with sharp edge, over 550 college credits, over 1,175 volunteer hours, and planned and executed the public safety to that National Leadership Academy. Drills, I hope that. You experienced some of my thought-provoking philosophies. My main goal was to impart the bigger picture of our mission, create a shared understanding, and while preaching the 90-10 rule and creating an up-and-out attitude. To my seniors who spent an ungodly amount of hours in my office, not only did we have conversations debating different ways to attack obstacles, but it also dealt with my TBI disabilities, working in an indoor dark cave as I had to work with the lights off consistently. You also served in my live series, who had to be my constant reminder because of my memory issues, and above all else, my seniors displayed leadership unlike I've ever seen. My seniors who uh, had the insight and consideration to break away from their busy days would come and acquire what I needed from them in order to keep the wheel steady. They always checked up and established the same philosophies that Brigade had, which is leaders take care of leaders. It just let me know that our company at all times had a group of individuals who were strong-willed, caring people at the end of the day, were human beings who cared, carried a lot of compassion for others. Thank you for all of your hard work and, challenge, uh, and for challenging me to grow as a leader. I hope that one day I can work for all of you again. Thank you my battle buddies, the other first sergeants who always worked well with one another, to first sergeant Oliver and Cindy, who I worked very closely with, great guys. Uh, thank you for all of, all these helping me and sharing products to ensure our companies were scared away uh, for the battalion. I appreciate your team attitude and never allowing the fog of the off to the trade off battlefield to ever come between us. Finally, my wife, first off, uh, I don't know if you noticed but that, but that Rose has a $5.99 receipt uh, stapled to it. I need that back. I'm using my money to camp with PCS. Uh, but on a serious note, uh, 12 years ago, I asked if I could sign a waiver, or if you could sign a waiver, to allow me to go back to Afghanistan uh, well under my goal time. And the deal was that I could never go drill sergeant because of the constant separation and hardships that places on my family. Yeah, I had forced him to lie, and I kept that promise. But he didn't say anything about being a first target this far. Uh, yet again, you sacrificed and allowed me to focus on my drills, taking a backseat again, spending time away from me while I slept at the office, seeing me for a total of 16 hours uh, a week during ECT, preparing me three meals a day while holding down the house, all while maintaining three jobs or so as a woman who has a physical disability. For those of you who don't know, who don't know, my wife was born with hip dysplasia. She's essentially in pain 24-7 and has a hip with a 90-year-old, and yet stays on her feet for all three of her jobs and spends her off time changing my diapers and dealing with my bullshit. You set the standard of dedication of never quitting, uh, which makes it hard for me to look at soldiers who quit for so good pity when I come home to the literal embodiment of resilience and selflessness. In closing, the change responsibility is more than just the passing of the unit colors. Uh, it's an unbroken chain linking the generation of first artists who have served in this critical position. Today's ceremony represents not only a transition, but a celebration of the responsibilities shouldered by the first artists throughout the history of our proud army. So, Roscoe, I know my guys are in great hands. Uh, thank you for coming over early to run the job sooner than expected. Uh, you already showed me how much you care, and I know that you will make the company twice as big as I have it. I love you, Echo. Forge Regiment, assist by example, Enforcers, Enforcer 7, signing off the net. Ladies and gentlemen, the first one of the Boom Company, 71st Military Police Battalion, first one of Roscoe. Mass Army Major Nyker, Lieutenant Colonel Bright, Mass Army Majors, uh, Commanders and First Arts, thank you for your trust and confidence. Mass Army Major Nyker, Lieutenant Colonel Bright, thank you for your trust and confidence allowing me to assume responsibility for the force today. I'm fully committed to fulfill my duties and exceeding the expectations of all the soldiers in our organization. As I begin my new journey, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone who has supported me, especially my wife Natasha, who cannot make it today. 
She has been my confident companion and mediator, and I cannot thank her enough for her wavering support, because she is my foundation. My fellow soldiers, leaders, and mentors who have stood by my side, thank you for your loyalty, guidance, and support. Serving alongside you have given me the invaluable knowledge and experience that leads to me. I would also like to thank First Sergeant Ambrose for his advice, support, and welcome and attitude. It is apparent that you will be greatly missed. I wish you and your wife all the best in future endeavors. Finally, soldiers and leaders of Echo Company, I am both humble and eager for what is to come. You can trust that I will be at the forefront of every obstacle and challenge that we may face. May we continue to fight the good fight. Assist, protect, defend, forge the regiment, assist by example, and force the seven sack on the net. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join us for the playing of the Military Police Corps Regimental March and the Army Song. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. The Seminole First Military Group's Battalion thanks you for your attendance. Master Ambrose and his men will be located at the National Organizational College display for those that wish to bid them farewell. Please join First Sergeant Roscoe for a reception to be held here in the back of the agency theater. Thank you for attending. This is by example and forces.